We don't have time! They've got Naminé! We gotta rescue her! Whew. Sora sure does seem like he's upset. You'd be too. He just remembered a friend, but found out she's in trouble. Good point. I guess if we heard that the king was in danger, we would be pretty upset about that too. Okay, um, notice that Sorrel's by the door, jumping and calling for them and waving them over. Donald and Goofy were by the hallway, and somehow we just switched places. Okay. Hey everybody, it's Bubba Peace, welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts Reach and Memories. In the last episode, we took on Larxene and obtained some more cards so that we can go to other worlds from our memories. Yeah, our memories yet we still don't remember anything when we land in said memory worlds. Anyway, let's see what Donald says. Come on, Sora, we gotta rescue Naminé from the bad guys. You don't say. Any friend of yours is a friend of ours. Let's go help Naminé. <laughs> I couldn't have put it any better myself, Goofy. Now, I wish they were a little less lazy with the animation for that. There's definitely four cards, not five, and I know they've just been doing that, but still, they, they could have fixed that. Anyway, the four worlds that they have are Atlantica, Neverland, Hollow Bastion, and 100 Acre Wood. So, even though we kind of went out of order with the whole Halloween Town thing, I just went in order based on the worlds that we had at the given time. Same thing's going to apply here. I'm going to go to Atlantica, then I'm going to Neverland, Hollow Bastion, and just for the heck of it, I'm going to finish off with 100 Acre Wood, even though that's really the easiest thing and takes barely any skill at all. But, uh, yeah, let's just start with Atlantica. And hopefully I can do some better deck building around this point of the game. And I'm really hoping I can get some better map cards, because as of now... I have no roulette cards. I will be grinding a bit. Now this world's kind of weird for a couple of reasons. Number one, you're about to see. Yeah, this is wrong. Gosh, this looks like the bottom of the sea. It sure does, so how come we can breathe? No idea. Hmm, beats me. Maybe someone cast a spell on us? Donald. It's just like breathing air. But it's not air. See, someone's swimming this way. Oh, God. He had to use the word swimming in this way. That reminded me so much of Kingdom Hearts 2, which is something I don't want to be reminded of right now. Kingdom Hearts 2? Sure, but this part in Kingdom Hearts 2? Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, you'll see one day. One day. Next year. When Kingdom Hearts 2.5 comes out. Anyway. If anyone asks, you didn't see me. What? Sorry, I don't have time to explain. Just promise you won't tell. Hey, what's that sparkling thingy you got there? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. Remember, you didn't see me. Did you see a redhead? Yes. Well, looked like she was in a hurry. She was hiding something. I wonder what it was. A sparkly thingy. Pay attention to Goofy, guys. Anyway, it's already weird enough that we're, we're not in our under the sea outfit things. Not outfits. Personas, I guess. I don't know. Sora being a merman. Uh, Donald being a squid. Goofy being a turtle. None of that's going on right now. Uh, but everything basically looks just like it does in the other rooms throughout the entire game, depending on what card you use. Except they've got the Under the Sea gimmick, which is so weird. They don't seem like they should work. They really don't. I hate that this is even a thing. But anyway, look at the battles. Now the battles are even weirder. Because in the first game, you used to swim, there was swimming combat. There was a special kind of combat for this world, but all of a sudden, 
nope, that's done. N none of that. And also, for some reason, I think these green guys, I forget what they're called, I think they actually resist or recover from electricity, so Thunder's useless. If it's not these guys, it's someone else, but it made no sense at all when I first started playing. I was like, okay, underwater enemies, let's use some electric attacks. Heals. What? But just know that is a thing, so be cautious, be weary, and all that good stuff. Ooh, Looming Darkness 1. Oh, I wish that was something higher. Alright, so let's see if I even have the car that I need. Oh, one or higher. Okay. Um, ooh, let's actually use a Calm Bounty first. Go ahead and give me a good item. Or a good slight, whatever. Whatever it is, it's gotta be good, and I wanna get it. Also, I want to see if I can get some more MP, because how much do I even have? 192? Dang. Okay, a card can keep... One. You're kidding. A one. Are you kidding me, game? I got a three crab claw a minute ago. Oh, 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 Ah. Dang. Another three. Come on, game. Stop teasing. I power something shock impact um see yeah thing is I don't use Simba okay okay so that's a useless thing um okay and now as we progress through the game the rooms are gonna well I'm sorry not the rooms the worlds are gonna be getting a lot bigger and longer so you're going to need to do a bit of fighting just so you can get the cards to move on. Um, so first one, I'm going to either have to go here in the... Can I please? There we go. Either here and then go here or here and go all the way around and then go in there. I'm assuming I'm going to have to go around and then this is going to be another way to get into the top room. I'm hoping I'm wrong, but hey, knowing my luck. Okay, so got to go this way. Two or higher. I don't want to waste my nine Moogle here. Um, do I have anything? Dang. Dang. Okay. Um, why not? I know why not because I'm, I'm going to need a nine eventually and I'm going to cry. All right, move points, move points. Regretting this a little less right now. Ooh, regret regretting this a little less. A uh, four Olympia, that's bad. Um, <laughs> starting to regret it a little more again. Ooh, Moogle points, regretting it less. Come on, do not make me regret this decision game. Come on. That's two attack decks. Come on. Um, all. Ooh, I was about to say all crap, but never mind. A seven and an eight. Hmm. We'll see if I can put that to use. Uh, ooh, we're about to get to the good stuff. Okay. Uh, the higher the value of the deck, the odds are the cards are going to be way better. So, six, seven, five, seven, and a nine. There we go. Okay. So, let's go ahead and sell the useless cards again, as usual. Um, okay, get rid of these two. Dang, I can't believe I got a good deck of that. Nothing but Crab Claws. Um, get rid of the Olympia. Get rid of the Fours. It's kind of a weak premium, so I'll just get rid of that. Um, 120. That ain't enough. I'm probably never going to use Gravity, so I'll just get rid of all these. And if I ever do change my mind, odds are I'll get them again anyway. Okay, uh, Potions. You know what? I'm probably never going to use Potions again. I'm probably going to use nothing but High Potions. Um, speak of the devil. Um, cure thunder. How much? Is, yeah, thunder ain't even worth that much. Uh, ether. I'll, I'll keep these just in case for uh, CP reasons later in the game if I actually need them. Um, all right, 364. Be able to get. You know what? Let's go for. Ooh, perfect. Come on, give me some fires and blizzards. A. Uh, a nine premium fire. Nice. 
Seven, okay. Mmm. I like this, I like this. Let me go ahead and edit my deck real quick. Let's see, uh, ooh, I have some room to work with. I'm not even gonna edit this out. I need to show this off. Um. Oh, wait, that's just one card? 36, dang. Look at the difference, jeez. Um, where's that nine fire premium? Here we go, 15, that will do it. I got, oh, I need to rearrange that. Let's put the two here, there we go. And I'll put a five, yeah, that works, that works. Okay, so now I got two fire ragas. That is extremely good, extremely useful. I'll be back, Moogle Shop. I will be back. And of course, I was right, so gotta go all the way around just to get to the key beginnings room. A zero on the die. All right, I'm thinking the grinding part's about to come up. We'll see, we'll see. If I can, if I can progress without grinding, I'd rather do that. So, all right, Moogle points. Gimme, 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 gimme. Okay, um, yeah. Firaga twice is absolutely amazing. What else is absolutely amazing is not losing the 50 Moogle points standing right in front of you because an enemy decided to appear. Um, what does this do? I think this just stuns thing. No, it's just Moogle points. Okay. Well, not necessarily Moogle points. It's something that can be dropped. Ooh, thunder. And it's just a fart. Dang it, I was hoping I could sell that or just get enough free thunders to say, oh, I'll put in my deck. Okay, these guys show up underwater, which is kind of weird. Um, I think this is the first time they're appearing in the game. I'm actually not 100% sure, but here you go. I don't know why they chose to put them in Atlantica of all areas. And oh my, Duh, the giant fish. It's actually kind of scary because of how much of a HP it's got. So, uh, Goofy, um, help me destroy this thing. Goofy. Whoa. That is still hilarious. The, the, the biggest enemies just fall to Goofy Smash. Alright, Goofy, I mean, not Goofy. Donald, use Thunder and put me right. Oh, wait. There's no one here that would resist. Well, dang it. All right, well, the fight's almost over. And as you can see, things are starting to get a little more annoying. Everything lasts a little longer. Everything's got more HP. Good thing the Heartless aren't stronger themselves, like with card values and stuff. Uh, oh, 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 don't you chase me. Don't you chase me. Wait, the clam just... Yes! All right, I'm getting close to leveling up again. And I'm getting a good variety of cards. Hopefully, it'll actually save me going these different rooms. Okay, I only need a one. I'm surprised. Okay, let's go uh, black room. Because I don't want to use Looming Darkness just yet. That might be my alternative to Roulette Rooms. Because Roulette Rooms, of course, you can choose which cards you want after you're done the... Great. Uh, after you've done the battle, you can choose which card you want out of what's already given. But Looming Darkness will at least give you a bunch of Heartless to fight, and that way you should have enough Heartless to give you more cards. Okay, watch out. Watch out. Don't want to touch you right now. Alright, any blue card, and that's not the right. Excuse me! And now that I think about it, I don't even, I don't even think I showed off the black fungus in this game. Uh, they're not quite the same as they were in uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 because you don't have to deal with, oh, I thought I was stacking them up, whoops, anyway, you don't have to deal with them jumping, attacking, using poison, and then once they hit you, actually turn into the 
solid form, you actually get to fight them with a lot of HP, and you do a bit more damage, and you can kill them faster, and they'll turn into those solid forms at complete random. So, while it's more annoying that they could just do it at random without any warning, hey, you can kill them faster. Worth. Totally worth. Alright, well, at least I opened up that room. Um, yeah, I have to go down. Well, to the left. And one again? Dang! I am impressed. Um, I don't really want to waste any of these cards. Alright, Marshal Wakening. Or Waking. Wakening? I don't know. The thing that boosts your attack power cards with the value and blah 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 that yeah wait what you're lying I took ah oh, it's a wasted room no completely wasted room now I gotta go all the way back down here I could've used that card somewhere! I, I, I can't believe I just did that! Okay, um... Hello, door. They need to two or higher. I can live with that. Kinda. I could've lived better with it if I didn't waste a card! Now please don't tell me I need something specific in this room. That would kill me. Can the key, can the key, can the key. Six. Eh. Maybe useful. I highly doubt it, but we'll see. That was a long drop. Okay. Anything in here? Nothing. <laughs> I just scared him up. Um. Moogle points, moogle points. Yes. Okay. Wait, what am I doing? That <laughs> I looked at the um I looked at this early. For some reason I thought that's what it was. Oh, jump up here. Thank you. Very random high spring. Clam. Clam just spit down a lot of stuff. Okay. More boxes and barrels. Okay. Um Doing good stuff, doing good stuff. That's not much. Oh, this is nothing. It's just a platform. What a tease. I thought I could land on it and do something with it. What about this? HP that's not recovering anything. Great. Any red co Okay. Glad I didn't waste this. So the card grinding will be somewhere in the middle of the next episode. Oh, what was me? Is something wrong? Actually, something is wrong, Sora. Neither Ariel nor Sebastian are going to question your legs. Or shoes. Or clothes. Or any of that. You are weird. They're weird for not thinking you're weird. I'm weird for pointing out the weirdness of this weird situation. Weird. Someone stole the King's Magic Triton, blah, 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 blah. And on top of it all, Princess Ariel has disappeared. King Triton's worried sick. He won't leave his chambers. Really? Ariel? She disappeared? Ariel's friend Flounder would know where she is, but now he's gone too. Wait a sec, didn't we just see Ariel? Yep, but she didn't look really happy to see us. Hey, wasn't she carrying something when we saw her? You don't think that was the Triton? You know, maybe it was. Wow. But that means Ariel stole it. There must be some explanation. All right, so they remember who Ariel is, but they don't remember anyone else so far. Okay. Unless they're just assuming that the red-headed mermaid was Ariel, and they don't actually know. They're just guessing. Ah, uh, the logic is breaking apart. 
Ariel, where did you swim all to this time? If anything happens to you, the king will think it's all my fault. He told me to keep an eye on her, and now this. What if she ran away because of something I said? King Troy will banish me forever. Oh, you don't just banish Sebastian the Crab. He'll pop a shelf if we tell him Ariel took the trident. Guess we'll have to get it to the bottom of this ourselves. Okay, whatever you say, Goofy. Key of Guidance. Now we'll find the Key of Guidance room in the next episode.